boards and more boards. They're the meat and potatoes of your average competition, right? Well, this isn't your average competition. This is the 8th TSC's 2012 Warrior Challenge, a four-day event aimed at narrowing it down to the best soldier and NCO that the 8th TSC has to offer. From there, it's just a hop, skip, and a jump to the user pack and even army level competitions. We wanted to, we wanted to define the word challenge, and the challenge is, is give them any, many different events to challenge a soldier physically and mentally. We looked at user pack, we looked at what the all army do up in Fort Lee, and we tried to put together a package that will give all soldiers the uh, advantage of going in there and compete and win. The competitors drove on, letting their strengths and weaknesses show, while giving it their all. There were successes that pushed them, and failures that were chalked up to lessons learned. Blood, sweat, and tears were shed, which means very little when you're this driven to win. And of course, this is no time to quit. Why would I quit? I'm not a quitter. I'm proud to be competing in this competition, representing my unit, the 558 Military Police Company, and to be competing against the best of the best in this 8th TSC competition. Uh, the hardest part of the competition so far, land navigation. It was a good course, difficult course, and uh, I think we all felt the fatigue setting in. It was a tough course. The NCOs and soldiers competed in several similar events, as well as specific ones catering to their appropriate rank and skill level. The competition was not only physically demanding, but it also provided a mental challenge as well. I think uh, the competition overall, win or lose, is uh, great because not exactly a refresher, but what I need to work on as an NCO. When I came in the Army, I wasn't as motivated as I am now. It's my leaders that got me here, and I want to, in turn, take my soldiers and do the same. You have to be well-rounded, honestly. You have to be not only physically fit. You must know all your, your skills, your level one, two tasks. You really need to stay on your game. Um, it's just a great challenge. It's been uh, building me up to be a better NCO, possibly officer. A couple of soldiers have asked about some of the events, and uh, I, I've been trying to help them out. I think it takes dedication and leadership. Uh, I believe it is a year-round process. Uh, you don't become a leader or the best NCO overnight. Uh, it takes a lot of mentoring and a lot of hands-on experience. I believe that the lessons and the things that I've learned here in this competition I'll be able to take back to my unit and share with my soldiers. Ten months ago when I started the board process, I was a young E5. I had a good knowledge base. However, I don't know I didn't know then everything that I know now. Uh, I am growing as an NCO and ready for the next level. And by growing as an NCO, just gaining more knowledge, uh, book knowledge as well as experience to further help my soldiers as far as whatever issues they may have with their family or just their careers. Hardest part of the competition has just been to stay abreast of every task, to just be prepared for the next thing, to put, if I hate, perform poorly in one task, to put it behind me, forget about it, and just move to the next one. Because it is a competition, and no one task is gonna set you aside from anyone else. I think what they're looking for is not just being the best, but the whole soldier concept, as far as I'm well-rounded. I have technical and tactical knowledge, um, everything from physical fitness to my general army knowledge. After everything was said and done, two competitors were left standing, just a little taller, Sergeant Eric Williams and PFC Jose Figueroa. So the battle is over for now, until it's time to advance to the next level, which means tougher competition in a bigger pond. Reporting from Schofield Barracks, I'm Sergeant Jesse Antelon.